LT Spice 4 includes an integrated waveform viewer that, in combination with the schematic editor, provides an easy way for designers to display and review simulation data. This means that if you click on an object in the schematic editor, the voltage on that wire or current through that component will be plotted on the waveform viewer and some basic measurements can be taken. Welcome to LT Spice 4 Waveform Viewer Video. I am your host, Gabino Alonso. This video provides an introduction to the use of LT Spice Waveform Viewer in the analysis of a simple circuit so that you can review your edits of your design quickly and efficiently. I will demonstrate the features of the Waveform Viewer, overview how to take some basic measurements, and highlight how to save your settings and export your data. Once you have opened an existing schematic or saved edits to your recent schematic, the first step is to run the simulation. If you notice on the toolbar, a symbol is provided for you to run the simulation. And when you do so, you'll notice that the waveform viewer is invoked. To probe a schematic, the simplest method is to point and click on the wire to plot the voltage on that wire. So if I click on the schematic editor, I can now go over to this output node here, and you notice that my crosshairs change to a voltage probe. If I left mouse click on that node, the voltage on that node is displayed on the waveform viewer. Likewise, you can also plot the current through any component by, again, moving the crosshairs over to the element. And you notice in this case it changed from the crosshairs to a current probe. And again, left mouse clicking. You can also plot current into a component with more than two pins by clicking on the symbol for the pin. So if I take my cursor over to the switch here, you notice that it changes again to a current probe. Please note that the direction of current is into the pin. If you need to delete individual traces on the waveform viewer, you can easily do so by making the waveform viewer the active window, selecting cut on the menu, and going to the symbol for the waveform trace that you want to remove and just left mouse clicking. Alternately, you can also just double click on the either voltage or current of interest and that will also clear out all of the other traces in the window. It is also possible to plot voltage differences utilizing the mouse by clicking on one node and dragging to another node. And you will see that the red voltage probe on the first node and then it becomes black probe on the second node. This allows you to now plot the voltage difference up between those two nodes. Let's now zoom into the steady state portion of Vout. To zoom in on the portion of a waveform, all you need to do is to hold your left mouse button and draw a box over the portion of interest. Once you've done that, you also have some other options available on the toolbar. You can zoom in further. You can also zoom back and zoom out to its full extent like we showed before. You also have this very handy auto range which allows you to kind of scale up the vertical axis to full extent. And of course my favorite, the uh, common and popular undo. You can also take some basic measurements using your mouse cursor and reading the readout in the lower left hand corner. If I zoom in a little bit further here and select a portion of area that I'm interested in, I can now draw a box like it did before to zoom in. So I'm going peak to peak now, top to bottom. And if I look at the lower left hand side, I have some basic information with regard to the time and also the frequency as well as the dy in terms of the output voltage ripple. Now to get out of this, I have two options. I can either hit the escape key or the right mouse button. If I just accidentally let go and zoom in, I can also come over here and do the undo as well. There are also two other cursors available that you can attach and utilize to do some basic measurements. If I just click on V out, my cursor comes up. I can now move this around to take some basic measurements and you see the active window right here showing me the details of that particular position. Likewise, if I right click, I have the option of utilizing a second cursor as well, as well as the first and second one to do some voltage differentials. So in this case, I can take a second one, place it there, and take the first one, place it here. Also, LT Spice provides additional measurements in terms of average and RMS. If I hold down the control key and left click on the label on the output, whether it be current or voltage, you'll notice it gives me some information here with regard to the average and the RMS value for that particular window of time that I'm looking at. 
Another useful probing technique is to plot the instantaneous power dissipation of a component. To do so, in the schematic editor, hold down the Alt key and move the crosshairs over the component of interest. You notice that the crosshairs become a thermometer at this case. You can now click on that component and that will then display the instantaneous power dissipation as an expression of voltages and currents. You can also calculate the average power dissipation like we've talked about earlier by holding the control key and clicking on the label and that will provide you the average power dissipation over the window of interest. Another useful feature of the waveform viewer is the support of multiple plot panes to display data in more than one window. This allows better separation between traces and it also allows different traces to be independently auto-scaled. So let's say we're interested in uh, comparing and contrast the output voltage with the inductor current. So I want to have a separate pane for each of them. So I can come and click on the uh, waveform viewer, go to plot settings, add a plot pane, and now I can then go to my schematic editor, click on the inductor, and now I have a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. If I want to, I can also drag the label from one to the other, and that will provide me all the combination of the two traces in one pane. If I'm interested, I can also drag this up to the top one, and if I hold down the control key before I let go, this will provide me a copy of that trace on that separate pane. Once you've configured the waveform viewer with the appropriate traces and scale, you can save those at a as a plot setting for later use. To do so, go under Plot Settings, click on Save Plot Settings, and if you use the default name, that will be available the next time this circuit is invoked. Additionally, you can also copy plots as bitmaps for when you need to attach them to a Word document, paint, or an email. To do so, under the Tools menu, you have the option here to copy bitmap to clipboard, from which you can then easily paste it into another application. If you need to analyze your data using an application like Excel, you can utilize the Export Utility available under File menu. This now allows you to select the traces of interest, and then you can go ahead and export them into a text file. For more documentation and information on the Waveform Viewer, please visit us at www.linear.com forward slash LTSpice. Thank you and happy simulations.